Brian Goody Koontz, the Packers GM. It could be easy and it could be fast if both sides were committed to it. The problem is, and there's always this danger in negotiations, if you move prematurely toward what it is that you're willing to do, the other side will try to squeeze you off of it when it approaches its own real deadline. So you have to set the deadline, and then as the deadline approaches, you get more and more serious and you move toward your bottom line and you hope that the two sides come together and get a deal done. There's no reason to think they won't, but it's yeah. not as simple because we've got half a year of holy crap from Jordan Love. And the first half of last year was like, mm, yeah, we didn't know which way it was going to go. Right. But did it go enough and well enough the second half of the season and in the playoff win over the Cowboys and in the near miss against the 49ers to get this guy into that $50 million a year club. Man, that would be something if he gets that much of a deal from the Packers. Well, it, it, well, it feels like they've seen enough, obviously, to, to lock him up, right? So th there is that. And I will say, you know, again, doing my quarterback rankings and all of that and going back and watching film a few times on these guys, man, that second half of the year, Jordan Love was phenomenal. I mean, he's got all the tools, right, to be a star. Th that, there's no question about that. Now, you know, I'm not there on an everyday basis and all that, but you read between the lines, you're hearing, you know, Gudenkus talking about long-term contracts. Obviously, they like what they're seeing behind the curtains too, right, and, and how he leads the team and he's doing all the, the necessary things. He certainly doesn't blink, you know, under pressure. I mean, who was under more pressure than him last year replacing Aaron Rodgers? And he was smooth and calm doing it, right? And, Mike, I think of them too, like, Hey, if they're all those things line up and they like them and they like, like we've been talking about the whole damn off season, get it done, get it done now, just make it happen. Expensive. Right. And, and like he, Jordan love right now is at a point of his career where I don't think he can hold their feet over the fire for like maximum maximization. Right. To like your point here where it might be like, wait, you know, I haven't made that much money in my career. Wait, you're going to give me 48 million a year or or 50 million right now? You know, if you're sold, he's the guy, do it because I'd be worried with this offense, this team. He goes out this year, throws for 4,000 yards again, leads the NFL in touchdown passes. He was second in touchdown passes last year and, you know, he doesn't he doesn't make the mistakes at the end of the 49ers game. They're going to the NFC Championship game last year. That was his only blunders at the end of the year. So, uh, you know, if they think he's the guy, do it. Get it done. Listen to Florio. That's what you've always said. Yeah. He went from looking like Aaron Rodgers at his best to Brett Favre at his worst in uh, crunch time. But that's the only negative you can put out there after the first half of the season. And, look, in the past, I've suggested that, Maybe he shouldn't have done the deal he did last year and he should have bet on himself and said, hey, either pick up my fifth-year option or don't. I'll go out and have a contract year. The reality is by having that security in his contract that covered 2024, he was able to weather the storm in 2023. That's right. And it settled down. And they had that three-game run where it was, it, was really, it was really on the edge there. And it could have gone very badly for the Packers. But it was just enough for him to start that climb. And the next thing you know, this guy looks like He's going to fit in that unprecedented Favre to Rodgers to love. It feels like that's going to happen. I think the Packers want that to happen. So it feels like it's going that way, but they do have to come to an understanding as to what the number is, and the number is never going to go lower. Jared Goff gets 53. Is Tua going to get his? Is somebody else going to get theirs? Trevor Lawrence is going to keep pushing it high. Just do it, do it now. Do it now. Sit down over a nice steak dinner, have a couple drinks, get the paperwork out, and get it done. It really isn't as hard as they like to make it think, make us think that it is. Okay. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.